and welcome to the day after tomorrow's world. Tonight, we show you something smooth, streamlined, functional, and fast. <laughs> so that's enough about me. <laughs> I'm standing here in the kitchen of the future, the kitchen that's got every labor-saving device you can think of, apart from the Liberal Party. <laughs> <laughs> Let us look around, shall we? First of all, here is the special eye-level grill. <laughs> Designed by Ronnie Corbett. <laughs> And then in this one multi-unit, uh, there is a mixer, the oven, and the washing machine all in one. Well, how does it work? Well, supposing, you see, supposing... Uh, uh, supposing I want some crumpet at tea time. <laughs> well, supposing I do. <laughs> what I do after five o'clock is my own business. <laughs> now, what about a cake for my birthday? Now, I shall need some cake mix. Now, over here, you see we have cake. There, that's for shortcake. And, of course, that's a very long cake. <laughs> we'll take the short cake, I think. Uh, we put it in there. <laughs> and the eggs. <laughs> and the milk. Icing sugar. And, of course, 21 candles. <laughs> there we are. Now, we mix for only a few seconds and simply pop it into the oven like this. <laughs> But remember, of course, that this oven and mixer is also the washing machine, and I'm doing some laundry for the weatherman in the next studio at the same time. <laughs> now, what do we get when we turn the dial? Oh! <laughs> well, we get a small electric shock stuff. <laughs> we'll ignore that for the moment. Now, let's just check the time on our digital clock here. <laughs> uh, well, either it's two o'clock or they're still on strike. <laughs> This exciting innovation I have here is the new kitchen cow. <laughs> there it is. Right, now we, we simply put the grass in here, like this. <laughs> and uh, the milk comes out here. <laughs> now this, of course, entirely replaces the milkman. Unless you're the woman at number 44 with the bow front. <laughs> now then, what about... What about the food of the future? Now, for a start, it's going to be bigger. Now, let me demonstrate. We, scientists, uh, we have found that the old vegetables were too small, far too small. For instance, what can I do with this carrot? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, madam. But seriously, I tried carrots as decoration. I even bought my wife this 18-carat ring. But, uh, <laughs> uh, now, here, now, on the contrary, here is a single section from the giant super carrot of the future. Now, there it is. <laughs> see, now, if you ate all that side, you could see Muhammad Ali in a dark room with your eyes shut. <laughs> Even if he wasn't there. <laughs> On this side, you see, there's Matt Monroe singing, I'm in the mood for love. <laughs> of course, it doesn't end there. Here is the new BBC radish. There we are. <laughs> with 13 guaranteed repeats on BBC Two. <laughs> Thank you. Here is a shredded wheat for the woman with two men in her life. <laughs> Here's one for the woman with 20 men in her life. <laughs> Ladies with larger appetites than that should see their doctor. <laughs> He'll probably give them one of these. <laughs> Here is the new uh, oven ready budgery guy. There we are. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, wrong cucumber. Try right. <laughs> here, here is the mouse trap of the future. Here it is. It consists of a piece of cheese, a Jimmy Young record, and a brick. <laughs> the mouse smells the cheese, he comes out of his hole, play the Jimmy Young record. When the poor little so-and-so puts his paws over his ears, you creep up behind him, hit him with a brick. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have ah, here we have. The new egg-laying machine, the kitchen egg-laying. Well, what makes it light up, you ask? Simple. Inside is a battery head. <laughs> How do you feed it? Well, simple. You take one of these pellets. Now, in this pellet, there's enough concentrated hen food for six months. I put it in there, load it in the special gun, and by means of this aperture in here, I shoot the pellet straight into its mouth. Thus. <laughs> Come out cracked. 
Well, now, before I leave you, it's just time to remove our cake from the oven and also to see how the weatherman's laundry is getting on. Now, here we are. Ah, oh, yes, there we are. There it is. A very nice uh, cake in a wool rayon mixture. <laughs> With a zip front. There we are. And, of course, here we have a fine set of beautifully iced underpants. There we are. <laughs> The weatherman should be very pleased with these. When his wife blows out the candles tonight, it'll be a cold front and a following wind. 